For some people, the idea of investing money is a little bit daunting. They'd rather put it in a bank account where it might not make much interest, but at least they can keep an eye on it. Others are only too happy to take on risky investments, but they haven't worked out if the risk they're taking is compatible with their lifestyle needs. I'm speaking to Darius McDermott, Managing Director of Chelsea Financial Services. I'm here to find out about the different attitudes to risk we have and how we can work out how risky our own approach should be. I mean, the key, the key risk in investment is, is a person's tolerance on, on seeing their investments go down, particularly going down, by a certain percentage. If, if, you, if you don't have the stomach for your investments to go down by 10, 20, 30, 40 percent, then it's, you really ought not to be investing in equities. There are a number of things you can do to work out your attitude to risk. Speaking to an advisor and using a risk calculator or questionnaire but there are also a few general rules and questions to ask yourself. You know, there are lots of different things that come into risk. Currency, geopolitical risk, corporate governance, and the more you get to sort of emerging markets and people that don't actually have, say, Western accounting standards, then, then you're taking accountancy risks and sort of corporate governance risks as well in the emerging markets, potentially. I think one of the, the, the most sensible things to do for first-time investors is to invest on a monthly basis, because if you make a lump sum investment, whether it be 500 or 1,000 1, pounds, you're investing it on one day, whereas if you're investing, say, 50 or 100 pounds a month, that goes in every month. It takes the ability of timing out, and actually what you end up with is something called pound cost averaging, because you buy a certain, your 50 pounds a month buys you a certain number of units in a fund, and as the price moves up and down, you will get an average price. That is quite a sensible way for investing for first time investors, and investors that are looking to um, invest out of their disposable monthly income as opposed to out of uh, capital. We should all know that there are a few different risk levels that we can fall into. It tends to be sort of there's a cautious, balanced or aggressive type of model um, and it will be your answers to certain questions which will dictate which of those sort of basic three baskets you might fall into and tolerance to, to, to losing money or, or making money um, versus that risk-free rate clearly is the key indicator as to which of those baskets you would fall into. Working out your risk profile is the first step. And once you know the type of funds and areas that you can invest in, you can start choosing which ones you want to put into your investment portfolio. Mm -hmm.